Hey guys! Okay, so today I have a haul for you guys. And it's gonna be kind of a mixture of stuff. Um, it's gonna be beauty products that I got before I went on vacation, some books I got before I went on vacation, and then some clothes that I got during vacation. So I'm just going to start with books. I'm gonna kind of go through things fast because I do have a lot to show you guys. Um, but I decided to go to Borders one more time before it closed and I couldn't go back anymore. And <clears throat> I got some beauty books, a fashion book, and then two books just to like, um, just to like read normally. And the one book I got was The Flapper's Vixen. And I guess it's the first in the series. But it's really cool because I like, um, all the decades and this um, book is based in the 1920s and it's just about like um, the so far I've only read the first two chapters so I've gotten to know um, Gloria and I think the other girl's name is Claire um, so um, but so far it's really good so I got that and then I also got um, this book called Pretty Girl Ugly Business Model A Memoir. Um, so I'm guessing it's just um, a book based off um, this one girl's experience. It has pictures and stuff on the inside, but yeah, so I got that. Now on to beauty books. Okay, so the first beauty book I got was Bobby Brown's makeup manual, and I'm pretty much almost done, um, over halfway done, and I'm on chapter 11 right now, but this is a super good book. Um, this is definitely a makeup book that I recommend going out and getting. It's great for if you're just someone starting off in makeup, if you want to learn how to apply makeup correctly, it has step-by-step -step pictures, but it's also good for someone who's already professional or does freelance work, or is a makeup artist, um, because it has, pretty much the end of the book is for um, that kind of stuff. But I definitely recommend getting this book. The other book I got was Crazy Business Beautiful, wait, no. Crazy Busy Beautiful, sorry. Um, Beauty Secrets for Getting Gorgeous Fast, and this is another book by Carmody. I really liked the one book I got, so I decided to get this book by her as well. And I haven't read it or anything yet, but it looks good, so we'll see about that. And then the other book I got was The Best Ever Book of Beauty. And I'm guessing it's just going to be like how you can do at home, like hair stuff and um hair skin just that kind of stuff it has a bunch of random stuff in here but yes yeah, so i got that another book i got was the hair book i don't have any books on hair obviously but this just tells you like how to take care of it um how to create different styles um so, I thought that was really interesting. So, yeah, I got that. And the last book I got is actually a fashion type book. It's called The Cocktail Dress. And it just has a bunch of different celebrities and designers and stuff and their versions of a cocktail dress. So, I thought that was really interesting. So, I got that. And that's everything I got from Borders. Then I went to my local beauty supply store and I got a couple of things. The first thing I got was this NYX glitter liner. And it's called Purple. And it's just a really nice purple glitter eyeliner. The next thing I got was this NYX jumbo eye pencil in pots and pans. 
and it's just a really nice silver. Then I got NYX Concealer in a Jar, and I got CJ03 Light, and this is pretty much the color of my skin, so I got this mainly for like, um, covering blemishes or any red spots or anything like that. Um, but I definitely want to go back and get one that's a shade or two lighter to for under my eyes. Then I got, um, I think it's pronounced clean color. I'm not sure. But it's American Chic Baked Blush Bronzer with SPF 15. It doesn't say what color it is, but it's just a really nice light pink. And it's super shimmery. So I got that. And then I also got three NYX lip glosses. And um, first one is Sand Dune. It's just a really nice um, taupey color. I really like that. Next one I got was Whipped. And it's kind of a mix between a nude and a pink. And the last one I got was Baby Pink. And it's obviously just a baby pink. But I definitely want to go back and get the rest of the colors they had. Because they were only $1.99 at that beauty supply store. So, yeah. And then, I went a few other random places. I went to Target. And... I got a few things. The first thing I got was the Shonya Kesha uh, Concealer Palette. I have heard a lot of good things about this palette and I definitely wanted to give it a try. It just has a normal like foundation concealer under eye. Um, this one would be covered blemishes. This one's like has a tint of green to it. So that would be for, like, if you have any red spots. And then it has the powder as well. So I definitely really like this. And it was a good price. So I recommend getting that. I also got an e.l.f. lip gloss. And it is in Honey. And it's just a really nice brown color. And last thing I got was this Maybelline Shine Sensational Lip Gloss. And it's number 10, freshly sliced. It's just a really nice pink. Then I went to CVS and I got two things there. The first thing I got was this Wet n Wild... Um, Idle Eyes Cream Shadow Pencil, and it's in 134 Distress. It's just a really nice navy blue. I think it was like $1.99, so that's a good price. The other thing I got was um, from Physicians Formula, and it's the Mineral Wear Correcting Primer. And I got the pink one because in the Bobbi Brown book that I showed you, um, she recommends using pink corrector under your eyes before you put concealer on. So I decided to go out and get this because I figured for correcting type products, Physicians Formula is really good. So I got that and that was about $10. But, I mean, look how much product you get. And you don't use a lot. The next thing I got was just something. I did the 5 for 5 at Icing, um, which is like a jewelry place. But they have beauty products, too. 
and they had this um solid perfume which i thought was a great size for like traveling it's called flaunt and it's the white leopard one but it smells really really good i'm trying to read it it says oh so jolie i don't know i guess that maybe that's the name of it but i got that and then I got the matching hand cream. I just thought they were great for a travel size. So, so the last place I went was Ulta. And the main purpose I went there was to get this Garnier um, Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Because um, I heard another person on YouTube talk about it. And I really like it. It lightens your dark circles. But it's also like a concealer at the same time, as you can see. It's like a concealer color. So, I really liked this. It was about $10, but you don't need a lot when you apply it. The next thing I got was I needed a new eyelash curler, so I got this Revlon one. It was like five dollars and I also got this Revlon lip gloss and it's called pink whisper and it's just a really super pretty pink and then I went to Maybelline and I got the I had champagne fizz which was um, like a shimmery highlight color but I went back and got linen as a non shimmer highlight color and then I also got this Rimmel eye pencil and it's soft coal um, that eyeliner one it's not the other there's another type that they have but it's not that one it's the soft coal ones and this is 07 pure white and it's just a really nice white and it glides on really nicely and then I went over to Ulta's products and they had the free gift with purchase but you had to like spend $17 so I decided to spend the $17 and get the free um, gift and I was really looking for a baked bronzer so I got their baked bronzer it was like $10 but it is super nice I'm actually wearing it right now and it's um, really great if you want shimmer within your bronzer um, I don't know, and it gives a really nice, like, sun-glowed look. So, I really like that. And then I also got this Ulta lipstick. It does not have a name on it, but it's 234. And it's just a really nice baby pink. It's, like, super nice. And I actually really love layering this with this Revlon lip gloss over it. It looks really pretty. So I got that. Then I went over to their Prestige um, line and I was looking at Stila products and I'm the type of person where if they have like the little um, sets or deals where you can test a few products at once I'll buy them and test the product before I buy the actual big version of it um, because I like to try things out to make sure I like them before I spend a lot of money on something. So I got the Stila um, lip gloss set and these three came in the set and it's seashell. Which is, is a really nice, like, muted pink. Um, grapefruit, which I have used, which is just a normal sheer pink. And the last one is 
um, raisin. It's just a really deep kind of purple maroon type color. And that was, I believe, 10 or $12 for those. And then the last thing I got was um, Wonderful Waikiki. And this is just a little palette set. It was $14. There were three different ones. But I really liked this one because I was going to the beach, so I thought these would be really good colors. It just has like a burnt orange, a highlight, a a nice brown color, and then an ocean blue. And then it has a coral blush, and then the bronzer. And the other thing I thought that was really cool about this is that it does have um, the example of the eye, and it has directions on how to do it as well. So I got that, and then I'll show you guys the free gift I got with my Ulta purchase. I picked the blue bag, and it came with a full-size mascara, and I was really happy about this one. It's called Lash Blowout, but I love the wand. It is so cool. You can see it has like that end. That was really neat. I've wanted um, mascara with a wand like this. So I thought it was really nice that that was in there. So it came with that. It also came with a blush and it's called Afternoon Delight. Just a really nice coral color. And then it came with um, Do I Wanted Lip and Eyeliner. This one's Mink, which I'm going to assume is the lip liner because it's the lighter brown and matches the lipstick. And then this one's just like a chocolate brown. And then it came with a black and a navy blue. And these are both eyeliners. The lipstick it came with was Iced Cappuccino, it's really dark chocolatey brown. The lip gloss it came with is the dual ended one. Um, this one's Lovely and this one's Princess. And then it came with two eyeshadow quads. The first one was just a really nice blue one. And I really like it because it has the names of them on the back. So if I wanted to purchase like a full size of that eyeshadow, I could. But it came with that one. And it also came with um, a brown taupe and black one. So I really liked that as well. But that is everything I got from Ulta.